I went down to the river, I built on my knee. I bathed in the muddy water, set my soul free. And my blue, all my blue, were washed away. And my blue, all my blue, were washed away. Yeah. What's going on guys? It's JL Folks from Road Angler TV. Today, I'm doing something a little bit different. I'm going to be doing a little review of my Vibe Yellowfin 100 kayak. This is uh, the main kayak I use for kayak fishing. It's a great yak and I'm going to show you guys the good and the bad, so uh, stay tuned. Alright guys, starting at the front of the boat. We got the handle here. Not too big of a fan of this handle. It's uh, actually kind of a pain if you're using a treble hook like a crankbait or something because if you've ever used one and got it caught on this rope, it really sucks when you're out on the water. But uh, it does get the job done. I just wish they did put a better handle there. Another thing I noticed right away about this yak is uh, that the bow is very steep in the front. So it's a little topsy-turvy at first but it doesn't take long to get used to overall this kayak is very stable we got the first front hatch here it's easy to get to and open up keep like a rope in there this bag can come out for more storage but a little bit of storage right here box in place real easy got the foot rests they uh these do move up and down they lock in place got uh, two rod holders on the front both sides got the scupper plugs those are actually scupper plugs I installed myself you got a little mount here where you can put either a rod holder or a fish finder or something you got a cup holder and you got like a little block I guess where you can put stuff in there as well it's got two handles on each side these handles are actually really good this one's a little loose right now but these handles are pretty good. Got the second hatch here, it's the same as the first. Got the bag, I keep like soft plastics right there. It's right at, right there near your feet. Got the seat here. Vibe does a great job with these seats. They're actually very comfortable. I've spent many hours on the water. And uh, it's got these bungees that hold it in place. Two on the front, one on the back. It's got scupper plugs under the seat. And then you can store a small tackle box right here. You got them on both sides, which that really comes in handy. I use that every time. All right, moving towards the back of the boat. You got a, uh, a bungee here so you can put your, um, your paddle on. And that's on the other side as well. Got two more rod holders on the back. Big space in the back to put stuff in. Here I got a little Yeti cooler. I still got a whole bunch of space right here. Um, Come to the back of the boat got another one of these handles you know like i said these rope if you get water in the boat don't try to pull it by the rope because it will break had that happen before you got a little drainage thing right here we can drain the water out of the yak all you do is uh turn it about 90 degrees drain the water out there's the yellow fin 100 logo and then uh you also got these screws here now one thing I don't like about this yak is I have ordered uh, some GoPro mounts some yak attack and they do not fit right here um, with these screws and they're on the other side as well so if I was to uh, actually install those uh, camera mounts I'd have to drill some holes which isn't a big deal but I would like if it was uh, easy access and didn't have to drill holes overall I give this kayak a uh, 9 out of 10. This is a great kayak, especially after my first one. I had an Argo 100 by Pelican, and this is night and day. Um, I most likely will be selling this yak in the future and uh, stepping it up to the bigger size, the next step, the Sea Ghost by Vibe. But I'm not too sure. This is really a great kayak. 
I have a lot of fun with it. And it's really easy to transport because it's only 10 feet and I could just stick it in the back of my van. I don't even have to put it on my roof or anything. So it's uh, pretty easy to transport. This kayak usually runs for about $650, $700, usually about $700 after tax, brand new. Comes with a paddle. Paddle's pretty good. It's a little heavy, but I, I'd say it's a pretty good paddle. It does the job. And uh, they have options where you can get other paddles, like better paddles and stuff too, but that's the basic standard Vibe paddle it comes with. Anyways, thanks for watching. That's the uh, Vibe Yellowfin 100 kayak review. For the rest of the video, I'm going to show you guys uh, some action on the water with it so you can judge it for yourselves. All right, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Peace. Showing on my guitar It's been on the road In the sky In every smoky bar I've become so ragged And I've never felt so alone Just counting the days Until I get back home I can be strong And I can be weak And a cold hot Don't want to be rich Don't want to be poor I'm blessed with what I have But I'm always wanting more That's just the way I am Always trying to be a better man And I ain't out to please no one Please no